Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another little, this is a small map showcase, guys. Yes, Gush XR22 used to be a, a new, a different name, and we used to show the maps a long time ago. It's back doing maps under the name uh, Gush XR22. I will link previous maps in the description, guys. So I thought I'd just do this little showcase, because there's some good little buildings on and good little stuff. So you can download this as from today from his YouTube channel. Uh, so I'll give you a link to that as well, guys. So he started to rebuild Jurassic World in his own style. So, uh, yeah, let's have a look. Uh, there's quite a few packs in it. One of the packs is Jurassic World, but you will need to own it to be able to play that. So Jurassic World uh, add-on from Marketplace. Uh, and he's used that to build some of the stuff. We shall start here. What have we got? We have got the, uh, the Vista Center. We've got T-Rex Kingdom. We've got a different Mosasaur build over there. Some of Main Street's done. We've got an Avery and we have a Raptor Paddock as well to show you. Uh, so probably the best thing to start over here. So as I said, if you've got Jurassic World add-on, you'll be able to uh, see everything in action. If not, you'll, the map will just download. There are some other add-ons in the pack, like Jurassic Vehicles and InGen Universe and stuff like that, which is really cool. Uh, all I couldn't work out is how how do I actually get into here? Uh, oh, and look, yes, this is why this is in it, because you get loads of, uh, you get loads of uh, holograms as well, which I think that's a pretty cool thing to do. That is water, though. Can I get in there now? Oh, there's a roof, but I can't get in there. So I'm going to have to break it. I'll have to break in because that's the way it is. Let's go and have a look. So it's obviously a beta version. It's the first release, so go and release it. Go and have a look at it. So these are the the holograms. You'll see some other holograms. Well, it's really good use of holograms. I've never seen it being used like that before, and you can position them. And down here, guys, we have the underwater viewing area with the Mosasaur up there. As I say, you can use other add-ons. There's always different add-ons with Mosasaur and stuff in, uh, but this one is using that particular add-on. Uh, so... That's that. We'll sneak back out. I thought this was underwater, but it isn't. I do like that. That'd be good if you, like, put it into a watery dome, I suppose. Oh, that's... Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh. Oh, there's more steps. Right, we'll just come out the top here, guys. That's the only way. So, T-Rex Kingdom I'm interested in. People find this very hard to build, so... It's really interesting. Oh, my God. It's got a massive log in it. Oh, it's ginormous. Oh, we got some dinosaurs in here, guys. And we got glass viewing area here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And some trees. I'm not too keen on these silver trees. It's got a tree and plant pack in it as well. Uh, let's just have a quick look, shall we? So, yes. Better foliage pack. Connected glass, engine, universe, many foods, Jurassic World Evo, and Jurassic World. Right, how do we actually get into the log area? I suppose we go through the main entrance. That would be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> right, so that goes just goes round to the glass area there. Obviously, with a beta version, it's dying. Oh, it's got viewing. It's not very viewing with those trees. Those trees need to come out. But it's got a good viewing area. And I'll have a little additional waterfall over there with water running through it, which is pretty cool. Make it a bit more natural looking. I'll say those trees. Don't like those trees. Right. So we've got some of the, uh, just a couple of the buildings here. Uh, it's got the main one here. <laughs> and there's an upstairs as well. Jimmy Buffy's. Uh, cocktail bar. <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, I like that smoke going through the chimney in the glass. Yeah. Uh, and then we got, I've forgotten the name of this, but this was here. And we got the uh, the restaurant here. Is it? Oh, Kobe. Kobe restaurant. I can't remember now. So uh, the visitor center, guys, it's put his own slant on it. Uh, oh, yes. Look, so we've got the other. Oh, it's got some of the exhibits here. Oh, very good. Yes, and uh, we've got some of the... <laughs> a bit broken, maybe, in this version of Minecraft. Uh, oh, wow. 
Very good. Very good indeed. Yes, you can place them where you want to spawn them in. And once they're there, they do what they need to do. So there's also an amber mine in here, a mini amber mine in the corner, which is quite good. Because <laughs> it's got the amber in sitting in the boxes. Right. Oh, here, uh, here. So there's Gusher XR, map creator, and with help with Xavier Jurassico, map creator as well. Oh, we've got the national flags. That's Mexico, I know. Hmm. There we go. I don't know what that one is. Uh, oh, right. So the creation lab has started to take shape as well. Oh, office. Yeah, the office is here. No furniture in it yet. I'm sure the furniture will get added in because obviously this is the little beta. Little beta release. Office again. There we go. And there's a little bit of an outside area here. Oh, I like those doors. Which again just started. Right, okay, we'll go up to the, so the only bit here we've got left is the uh, communications control room up here. Let's have a look through here. Yes, little control room. Again, in their own design. So it's sort of taking inspiration from, rather than the exact copy. Yes, and it overlooks the park, which is pretty cool as well. Right, okay, there's an upstairs bit. That will go straight to the helicopter pad up here. Oh, well, I thought it went to the helicopter pad. It comes to an oh, yes. There's another viewing area with the doorway down here. So there's a helicopter pad as well. Right, so we've got an Avery to go to. Right, guys, so we've got the Avery. Work in progress. You would think that it wouldn't have much, but it definitely has a lot done on it already. Wowza. Wowzer, that is quite good. I like this. this is probably my favorite build so far. And there's also some stuff inside as well, which we'll go and have a look. You must have to go. Oh, yes, you can go underground. I didn't see any flying creatures in this, but uh, it's a completely different side. It gives people ideas to how to do it. Let's get back down here. There we go. We'll go down the steps and a long way. This is under the water here. Right, yeah, so you can see that, and we come into the end. This will be the main central viewing area. Oh, another beautiful hologram. Ah, got some fish in the tank. So it's a hologram. What's that say? Pteranodon area. Right, oh, so this is a lower bit. I take it, oh, there's a lift. Lift goes up to here. This is new. There we go. That's the way you can go up. So, oh my God, it's like the Pteranodon Cafe. Oh, that's very clever, putting the goggles on. Yes. Now, actually, you can't get to the viewing area. You need to get to the viewing area. It depends if there's another viewing area on top. Is that any higher? There is another higher up. Yes. So there's an upper viewing area as well. Wow. So you can see that. I was wondering about that because the other bit's a shop, although I think maybe better to put the shop stuff at the side and keep it, keep the windows for viewing as well. Yeah, so I do like that. I like the fact we've got all these trees in here again. These are different. These have got flowers on, haven't they? So flowering trees. Oh, the flying creatures are all over here. Wow. I wondered where they were because I didn't see them before. So they're all, have they all gone over into one corner? That's interesting, because I wonder if that's happened naturally or they've just been spawned over here. Yeah. I don't know whether they all go to one corner. It's a bit interesting if they do. Lots of flowers and stuff in here as well. Rock formation. Right, so one more bit to see, guys. Oh, it's even got like a, a marshy area here. Right, one more bit to see. We are going to the Raptor training area. Whoa, so here is the Raptor training area. Now, I think if I'm right, this will be near the volcano. I can't remember really. Oh, maybe the Avery's near the volcano on the other side of the mountains. Right, let's have a look at this. Have we got our gates to get it? Oh, yeah, we got the famous cage guys from the cage scene. <gasps> oh, even button doors oh ho, ho. open <gasps> wow close oh i love it love it we want more of that 
One more of that. Go. We're going to get out of here. Whew. Get out of here. Right. Let's go and see the raptors. This is a fair size raptor paddock. Not just a small one. <laughs> of course, you can put any of the dinosaur add-ons in here. And you can adapt it. Once you download it, you can adapt it. Because you can download it from their YouTube page. That's really good. There we go. Lots of little bits of design here. So if I'm correct, this may be his Highland that he did previously designed. I will put that link in the description, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. It's only a short video, but it's now available for download. And uh, go and give them support. I hope you enjoyed that little video. And thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.